here. Go for it. Hi, my name is Omar Barlas. We are making Sensosphere, which is a Wi-Fi connected robotic ball to monitor your home away from home. So imagine you're away from home and you're getting calls from your home security company asking about the alarms that keeps going off in your home. What would you do in that situation? You can't do anything because you're away from home. And most of the times these are false alarms, which cost you money and stress. And then there are some other times when you just want to check on your kids and pets in your home. So we are presenting Sensosphere, which is a Wi-Fi connected robotic ball that comes with HD camera, microphone, speaker, and an array of environmental monitoring sensors. And you can drive it around your home to monitor your home, pets, and kids. So Gartner estimates that IoT product and services company are going to be making more than $300 billion by 2020. And according to Business Insider, about more than 2 billion devices will be shipped by the end of 2019, and we will be part of that market. We have been talking to first responders. They can use Sensosphere to save themselves from uh, extreme temperatures and toxic gases. Police and task force can use this as a tool to drive it inside the situation and get the situation awareness. Similarly, hazmat team can use Sensosphere to detect chemicals and hazardous materials in the site. We talked to a couple of home inspectors and contractors. They want to drive sensor sphere inside the crawl space to do the inspection. We also spoke to a couple of contractors. They can drive sensor sphere inside the ducts and HVAC uh, systems to monitor from inside. So sensor sphere consists of modular components and sensors. User can quickly snap them around the drive ball connect it to the home Wi-Fi and start driving it using, using any tablet, smartphone, or regular computer. So who else is in the industry? Nestcam and Canary are two big names. We, our product is better because we have a mobility in there. So you just need one sensor sphere, which you can set up in your home, and it, you can drive it from room to room and monitor a situation from different rooms. Then our product, has a mobility, uh, our product has room mapping option in there. So more you drive the ball in your home, more it learns about the environment. And it maps the room. So next time you use the ball, you just tell the ball that go to this room and it's going to drive automatically to that location. Our product is also modular, so you can always replace any of the sensor in there. Our product price starts from $249, and subscription plan is going to be starting from $29, $19 per month. Uh, we are focused on directly selling it to the consumers through different online channels and retail stores. And at the same time, we are working on developing uh, partnerships with home security providers like ADT, AT&T Digital Life. And imagine if they can offer Sensorsphere within their subscription plan to their subscribers. We are getting some feedback from industry leaders. Dr. Bell Merrill runs a training institute for, for real estate inspectors. He says that it's a very good tool for real estate inspectors, and he said he's sold. He's waiting to place an order. So last month, we have our first functional prototype. Actually, sitting right here. I, I don't know if I can grab this. That's our that's our first functional prototype that can stream live video and you can actually drive it around. And in the next slide, I'm going to show you. So we are a team of experienced software, hardware, and business development professionals with experience of over a decade in the industry. And we are going to make this thing. Uh, we are going to make this. We're going to make sure that we're going to make sure that it's going to come to the market. And please go to our website, sign up for an update. And if you want to test drive Sensosphere right now, so it's live, you can just connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, anybody in this room should be able to connect to this Wi-Fi, go to the browser, and start driving the ball right now. So let's see who can control this ball first while I take the questions. Actually, I need to. Yeah. There you go. It's live. Yes, ma'am. Induction charging. There's a wireless charging dock in there. So in the first generation of the ball, you'll have to place it manually on the charging dock. In the second generation, it will roll itself on the charging dock. Uh, 
uh, you got to buy multiple balls, one for upstairs and one for downstairs. <laughs> Yeah, we are working on that algorithm because we are doing a lot of image processing in there. So it's going to detect the obstacles and that kind of situations before it get into that thing. So we are working on that algorithm also. We are doing a lot of image processing on this right now. So as you roll the ball, it's going to try to stabilize the images also in there. Yes. You just need one. You just place the ball on the induction charging to get fully charged up. Once it's fully charged, then you can drive this for an hour or so. Once you're done driving it, you can drive it back to the induction charging coil. Yes. Not in the first generation, not in this prototype, but the next one, yes. It got its own Wi-Fi access point. You can directly connect to this ball's access point like you're going to be doing right now. If you search for Sensorsphere 004 Wi-Fi, you should be seeing that. And that's the password for the, to connect to the Wi-Fi. And then just put in this URL. You should be able to connect the ball and drive it. If it doesn't work with this URL, you can just put in the IP address, 192.168.42.1. I changed the slides, but I think they loaded the different slides in there. Uh, I have my cell phone over there. You have the you have it connected with the Wi-Fi. It should say Sensor Sphere 004. That's a Wi-Fi name. Okay, open up the browser if you're on the Wi-Fi. Put in the IP address 192. Yes. Not yet. We have been talking to first responders, but not the military yet. So. Yeah, good question. Everybody asked that. So the battery lasts for one hour at this in this prototype. But uh, for the camera question, we are working on an algorithm. So when the camera is facing forward, it's going to stream at 30 frames per second. When you start rolling this ball, so it's going to start skipping all those frames while the camera is not facing forward. When the camera becomes stationary again, it starts streaming 30 frames per second. Yeah, user want, may want to add multiple cameras on that. Then you can make it like a 360 camera. Then yes, we can do that way. So. That's what we were working on with the first responders. There's an organization called Teeks. So they're helping us with ruggedize this ball further. Looks like someone is connected to this, and you guys can. There are joysticks on the right side, so you can. Who has the connectivity? Whoever has the joysticks on the screen, he'll be able to drive this with a live video stream. Not on the Bluetooth. It should be on the Wi-Fi. What is the name? Okay. <laughs> One nine two one six eight forty two one. In any case, I'll be driving it around after this question answer session. I think that's the URL is the problem. I changed it with the IP address, that's why it's not loading. Sir. Yes, that's the purpose. We are gonna be ruggedizing this to in a different material. Most probably it's going to be polycarbonate and then there's going to be a rubber kind of sleeve wrapping around this thing. That will protect it from the extreme shocks and the temperatures. So that's what we are working on. Sir? So what's the estimated bomb cost right now? Estimated what? Bomb cost like bill of materials. Oh, bill of materials. Right now it's coming up to like $100 per piece. One hundred, one hundred. We are retailing this for two hundred fifty dollars. 